um, today is definitely not going to be a normal vlog. Um, just because I can't get it together today and I'm not going to pick up the camera and act otherwise. I just, I'm not one of those people that can switch moods just like that. Like, if I'm not in a good mood, you can definitely see through it in the vlogs and I'm just not going to vlog when I'm in a bad mood or something's going on and I just, I felt like I really needed to make this video because you guys adjusting to two under two or going from one baby to two babies it's just it's a lot and it's been one of the most challenging things that i have done and i'm just i'm going through it right now and i just i wanted to make a video because i'm gonna set this down i wanted to make a video because i know i'm not the only one going through something like this i'm sorry if you hear little coos um baby hazel is right here wilder is sleeping but yeah i know a lot of people are probably going through the same thing that i'm going through right now but a lot of people just don't want to voice it and that's okay but i do and i feel like it's super important to be transparent with you guys and just talk about the things that i'm going through because the whole purpose of this channel was not only to share, you know, the memories with Wilder, that's why I started this channel, and now with Hazel, but also to inspire and help you guys and just take you along my journey in hopes to help somebody else. And I feel like that's what I can do in today's video. Something called me to do this, and that's why I'm doing it. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Are you hungry, baby girl? And I don't want to burden anyone by expressing my feelings in making this video. But at the same time, I feel like it's important that I stick to my roots of why I started this channel in the first place, like I said, and just be authentic and genuine. And I just don't want to promote the wrong thing, essentially. And I feel like if I just started a vlog this morning and tried to act a certain way it just wouldn't be me and like i said before on my channel i'm not perfect i'm not trying to be i'm only human and i feel like you guys deserve to know that part of me and that part behind the camera because a lot of people just don't show that and come across as something they're not on the camera if that makes sense and i'm not trying to shade anyone at all but I just feel like it's so important to share like the raw parts of life because that can truly help somebody that's in your shoes. And I hope to do that in today's video. But yeah guys, I am just, I'm going through it and it's just been so challenging just adjusting to 202 and Garrett going back to work. While he had the time off, while Hazel was born, he was my saving grace and he he does everything for me he always does everything for me and he just went above and beyond and then i had that ripped away because he had to go back to work and that's life and it just the first day you guys it was so hard and i was gonna vlog it you know first day at home with a newborn you know when dad goes to back to work and i just i could not pick up the camera all i did was cry you guys this is just postpartum blues this is postpartum anxiety i definitely have postpartum anxiety i'm not even gonna lie i'm not gonna try to sugarcoat it i don't know how long this is gonna last i don't know i remember this with wilder i remember having the postpartum blues but it literally only lasted for like a week and it was done with so hopefully that will be my story again and this doesn't spiral into something else and i'm not trying to say by any means like i'm unhappy i've never been happier in my life and that's what's frustrating because i just birthed my daughter and i have so much to be grateful for you can't get away from it like i just the other night i was crying and i was holding her and it was the night before Garrick was going back to work, so obviously I was in my feelings about that as well. Along with just like so many emotions that my hormones are just off the chain. And this happens for so many women. So if you're watching this and 
this is happening to you like you're not alone and this is totally normal but in the moment it truly truly sucks it like it really does the only way that i've been coping whenever i feel sad or i have anxiety which is pretty much all the time i've always struggled with anxiety but it's like through the roof with all these pregnancy hormones going on and everything it's just it's a lot and the only way that i've been coping is literally through showers snacks and tons of cuddles from hazel wilder and garrick i just i don't know what i would do without those things like i'm literally sitting here eating a whole tub of ice cream and if you're doing the same thing right now or if you're having a glass of wine or whatever it is that makes you happy girl you do you and just try to make it through this season of your life because it's just a season and i'm trying to i'm trying to realize that myself all of this is going to go away and garrett keeps telling me the same thing all of this is just it's just a part of life it's just a thing it's just the thing that's gonna go away but like i said in the moment it really does suck i just want to be real and it's just been hard like that's that's the only way that i can explain it it's been hard it's been so so wonderful like i could not imagine my life any other way than it is right now like i feel Garrick and I talk about it all the time. We feel so complete. And that is, again, what's so frustrating is that I feel like I have everything right now. Like, everything I've ever wanted in my life. Garrick, Wilder, Hazel, I just, a home, like a roof over our head. I just, I feel so blessed. And then these emotions, like, kind of take over and I just get into this hole that it's hard to come out of and I don't know I just I can't wait for this to go away I haven't talked to my doctor about it only because we missed our appointment or we didn't miss it if you guys watch my vlogs my most recent one we tried to go to the appointment but they were taking too long and Hazel had an appointment right after anyways long story short we didn't end up going to the appointment but I did want to talk to my OB about you know what's been going on and my feelings and stuff and i the, for those of you that know me know that i am like anti-medication just for myself i'm not judging anybody else that takes medication for postpartum anxiety or whatever you're going through postpartum depression i'm just simply not for it just because my family history i just absolutely am not one to take medication like i literally don't even like to take Tylenol but I just wanted to tell my OB and just like express my feelings and stuff and I didn't get to talk to her but I do plan on doing that soon but yeah it's just I know that I'm not alone and I know so many of you guys are like yeah I'm right there with you girl but it can feel lonely at times even though Garrick is such a good support system like you guys have no idea he's an angel from above but it can still feel very alone at times and I just get anxious and I have anxiety for literally no reason and and it's so it's so ridiculous but yeah for anyone that's watching this right now and going through something similar or the same thing just know that you are not alone at all and even if it's not the struggle that I'm going through, everybody has their own struggles. Every single one of you that are watching this video right now, you have your own story and your own struggles. And it's okay to not be okay all the time. And wow, this is really good. And for those of you that are going through the same thing as me right now, it's so important to celebrate the small victories in motherhood or the small victories in life in general. Guys, I took a shower. The first day Garrick was gone, I managed to get a shower with both babies like sleeping. And I felt like a princess. I felt like 
the queen of Genovia. Like I, I did that. And you have to kind of just celebrate things like that. Celebrate the small victories. Make yourself positive. You have to have a positive mindset to have positive outcomes. I've just been really trying to drill that into my head and implement it every single day. But yeah, I can't deny that it's been hard going from one to two babies and postpartum anxiety, postpartum depression, postpartum hormones, postpartum feelings are valid and you shouldn't feel bad about the way that you feel. You shouldn't bottle up your emotions at all because that will just dig a deeper hole. <laughs> I'm, I don't know why I'm giving you guys advice, but through what I've learned, again, I'm just trying to help and inspire and just tell you guys my story. And through experience, like don't bottle up your emotions Talk to your husband, your significant other, talk to your family, talk to somebody that you can confide in, which is what I'm doing now. Some people might call me crazy, but just talk it out. Talk to somebody, get extra cuddles, extra hugs, and you're not alone. For the 50th time, you're not alone. I just wanna thank every single one of you guys for being the people that I can confide in and being people that I can talk to and all my supporters and all of your sweet comments, especially whenever I was going through pregnancy, I cried a lot and I had hormones and you guys were just there for me. And I've never really, I've never had someone in my life just be there for me. I, all the time you know until i met garrick and through you guys and through talking to you guys it literally just it blows my mind how sweet you guys are and all of your comments and just i want to thank you guys again just for being there for me and i know that i don't say that enough but thank you so much for all of your support and just all of your comments and just everything I just I never imagined my channel to be even where it is now even being able to help one of you guys out of 37,000 of you I feel like I've accomplished my goal and I'm just I'm so thankful for that if you're going through it just like I am just like the majority of first-time mothers second-time mothers any mom any mom of any child any age range any child i have no thoughts you guys any kids of any age and you're a mom and you're watching this you have been in my shoes and don't let anybody make you feel bad about your feelings because your feelings are valid and sit down grab your favorite ice cream the whole thing like don't even put it into a bowl just grab the whole thing sit down in the bath grab you a glass of wine whatever it is that makes you happy and just relax and breathe and know that you're not alone and i hope that i helped somebody through this video and if i did comment below reach out to me I love seeing your comments. Garrick and I literally read every single one of your comments. That's like our favorite part of the day is going through our comment section. And just know that we read your comments and they're so sweet. And thank you again to every single one of you guys. I'm gonna go finish the rest of this before Wilder wakes up. But yeah, I just wanted to jump on here and express my feelings and just hopefully help somebody that's in a dark place or in the place that I was in even two days ago. I just crawl into this hole and it's so hard to get out of. But get yourself out of that hole, take you a shower, eat you some ice cream out of the tub, have a glass of wine, do whatever it is that you want to do and just breathe. I'm gonna go finish my tub of ice cream and thank you guys so much for watching and just being a part of my family and just 
following along our journey and being so so kind and so sweet i have never met a group of people just so kind and genuine and sweet and i love every single one of you guys Garrett, wilder hazel and i we love you guys so much anyways if you like this video of course please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not already i would love to have you join the family Click that little notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we will see you Wednesday.